All right. Hello. Good morning. I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com, and it is exciting to have you here on this live stream where I'm going to show you how to make DJ drops.、Uh, I'm in my studio. It's just gone nine o'clock in the morning. It's bright and early. It has cooled down here in the UK a little bit, so、uh, I'm not sweltering from the heat, which is great.、Uh, so in this live stream, you're going to learn exactly how to create a DJ drop. I'll show you my workflow back here in Adobe Audition, so you can learn just how I do it. I'll show you some tips. Some tricks,、uh, one or two plugins maybe as well that I like to particularly for creating DJ drops, and we're just generally going to have some fun and interact with anyone who's watching on the live stream. Hello to you, by the way. If you are watching on the replay,、uh, good morning to, or yeah, very early morning to Brian Sweeney, who's watching from Wisconsin, USA. We got Ross Levine in the house as well. Isabella is there checking things out as well, making sure everything looks and sounds okay. Hopefully, Isabella, everything is thumbs up. Let me know in the、uh, the comments on Facebook Live at facebook.com/slash/musicradiocreative. If you want to get the audio in stereo, you want to listen to all those stereo effects. YouTube.com/slash Music Radio Creative is the place, and I would appreciate a subscribe on YouTube.com/slash/MusicRadioCreative if you haven't done so already, and you will never ever miss a live event. Morning to Radney as well. I know this one is early. And I apologise to our friends on the uh, uh, American continent because, well, I, I see Brian's already in at this early hour. It must be. Very early. What time is it, Brian? Where you're watching from? Texamal is in. We got、uh, Bad Mix Rick in as well.、Uh, Going to learn a little bit about DJ drops in this video. So I think it is high time that I shrink and hop over into Adobe Audition and look at the、uh, voiceovers I've got here. At the moment, these are on my processed bar. So what I'll do is give you a comparison. I'm going to drag these down to a music bar which is not processed. Show you the effects rack here. Absolutely no processing on that. If I do that, yep, no processing on that track. And let's have a listen to some of these cuts for DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. Hi, Creeps Channel. Michael Duffy in as well. Nice to see you there.、Um, so you heard those cuts. DJ Power. And now I'm just going to pop them into my processed area here. DJ Power. DJ Power. And you can immediately hear the difference there in the sound. So processing on the voice very, very important. You can find tutorials on my YouTube channel all about that.、Uh, but you can see the advanced rack I've got set up here. Let's just pop it out for the moment.、Uh, pop it over here so you can really see the DSA, the scientific filter, dynamics processing, speech volume leveler, hard limiter, parametric equalizer, all going in the mix there,、uh, just to create the absolutely perfect sound. Sometimes this happens, by the way, in the multi-track. You suddenly get over here this big mixing desk. It looks like a DJ mixing desk, and、uh, I, I know a lot of people who are starting an audition say, "Oh, what did I click? What went wrong?"、Uh, well, you simply just click the mixer tab up the top here, where where my mouse is. Just click back over here to editor, and don't worry, your precious work has not been lost. <laughs> Michael says I happen to check her the phone on a bathroom break, and there you are. Wonderful. I I love to have that knowledge. Ruiz is there as well. You are early indeed. It's、uh, eight minutes past.、Uh, Two or thereabout in Belize. Nice to have you watching from Belize on the live stream.、Uh, Brian says it's three a.m. where he is. Amazing stuff. Do keep the、uh, the comments going in the chat. If you've got any questions as I work away on these DJ drops, feel free to pop them in wherever you like, and、uh, as I can, I will get to them. Like I say, I know it's early in most parts of the world,、uh, so、uh, you know, please feel free to to type away or just simply watch and soak it up. By the way, hello to you in Periscope, Periscope land. I can see some hearts. Appearing, and if you've、uh, purchased a few super hearts, I would love to get my first super heart. I've never had a super heart on Periscope yet.、Uh, I don't feel the benefits、uh, because the UK is not included in the revenue sharing scheme that Periscope are doing for、uh, US users of the app.、Uh, but yeah, if, you, if you're watching on Periscope now, I can see there are a few of you, and you've got a super heart. Love to drop a super heart, but only if you think the content's good.、Uh, so right, go go go, says Creeps. Let's get into this then, and、uh, and listen to some more. So we got a cut from Carrie. These are all voiceovers that you can find on MusicRadioCreative.com. DJ Trigger Beats. So we got one for DJ Trigger Beats there, and dopest mix show. Dopest mix show. This is、uh, this is going to be loads and loads of fun. I can't wait to produce this. So as you can see,、uh, loads of loads of cool stuff here, ready to produce. Too tight radio traffic jam. 
You are now in the mix. Plenty of fun that we're going to have with these voices as we mix. Mohammed's in Cairo in Egypt, a great city. I've been to Cairo before, really enjoyed my time there. So hello to you and uh, welcome to the live stream. Uh, I will give shout outs as and when. Uh, if you're on Facebook Live, do uh, please give a little share to this video. It would be very much appreciated and I can, uh, I can give you a mention as well. Right, so let's take uh, the first bit of DJ Power. As you'll hear, I've saved up three takes here. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. Um, and what I'm going to do is take this cut here. And uh, I'm going to do a little scratching, a little DJ scratching effect on there. Um, go for pitch bender. DJ Power. That's quite funny, isn't it? That sounds quite strange. Let's do this. D DJ Power. DJ. And we can do something quite funny with this. I'm going to put a load of edit points on here and just make some cuts. So, like a little record turning. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. So, you hear how that sounds like a, a wobbly record going up and down there at the moment? D DJ Power. DJ Power. So I might use that cut, we'll see, but for the moment I've just got it there and I'm going to pop it in. Uh, let's have a look here. here power. Go. DJ Power. D DJ Power. DJ Power. Okay, so that's the start of the DJ drop. Um, what I could do is layer this up. So what I'm doing is layering up two cuts of DJ Power. And now this is the benefit if you're listening in stereo. Hang on just a moment. Let's mute this out for the moment. DJ Power. Okay, you'll hear the stereo echo there, but now if you are, um, if you've got the audio in stereo at youtube.com slash music radio creative, by the way, I see Paul's there from Switzerland. Um, Michael's asking what effect is that I just put on? You mean uh, this one, I assume? DJ Power. That is the pitch bender, the pitch bender. You can only do that in the waveform view, which is why I went back to waveform, made a copy of the original into a new untitled file and then applied the pitch bender. You can bend the pitch up and down, uh, kind of like a record. But there are more ways that you can uh, you can get the the voice to sound like a record, and I'll show you that uh, in just a moment. But let's uh, let's play now this DJ Power. I got General Failing uh, from Leeds at the Twitch chat. Oh, hi to Tipster over on twitch.tv slash music radio creative. Uh, morning, Mike. Did you manage to get the Twitch chat working? Yes, is the answer. Otherwise, I would not have seen your comments. So Twitch is working, YouTube working, Facebook. I uh, got my eye there, even on Periscope as well. Uh, now, uh, if you're listening in stereo, I'm just going to do some pans on this. I'm going to hard pan this to the right, and I'm going to hard pan this over to the left. DJ power. And that sounds quite powerful. I think you'll agree. Now I'm just going to tidy up these waveforms and do a nice little envelope fade in at the start. DJ Power. And I'm also going to do an envelope fade out here because I like to be very clean with the way I produce so that I make sure there's no excessive noise or delay or decay. Right, okay. DJ Power. DJ Power. So that's starting to sound good already as a DJ drop. Now, um... I might go and pop some effects in in a minute to image these up because these are going to be vocal effect and sound effect DJ drops. But uh, now I need to find Carrie. DJ Trigger Beats. Okay, DJ Trigger Beats. Hello to DZI from Serbia. Nice to have you watching from Serbia. Uh, wonderful stuff. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy uh, this stream. As I work away in my studio this morning here on the Isle of Wight in the UK, I share my workflow with you uh, live. So let's take the start of that DJ, and I'm going to show you another kind of record scratch you can do. Uh, so there is the waveform. DJ DJ, 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 and then we can do like looping. DJ, DJ. Again, if you're recording the loop back of Adobe Audition, fantastic stuff. You could um, you could kind of stutter, edit her a little bit. I haven't recorded the loop back of Audition for a while. I know you can do it. Um, it might actually work out easier if you had another uh, audio editor, maybe even something like Audacity, to record the loop back of what you're playing in Audition, because I don't think you can have two Adobe Auditions open at the same time. <laughs> I might be wrong. Uh, so, let me grab this. <laughs> Michael's working on a promo for his radio show and is going to try a bit of record scratching. Nothing wrong with that at all. 
Should we scratch that amount or maybe a bit more? That's, that's too much. Where she goes, that's too much. It's just the D, D, D we need. Okay, that'll be enough. Uh, now I'm just going to insert silence so I've got a little bit of room to work with because I hate being cramped in the waveform view. 10 seconds is going to be way too much, so let's reduce that. And then I'm just going to paste out this D a few times, like so. Um, and what I'm going to do as I do that is let's first of all try it with the pitch, not pitch shifter. We don't want that. We want pitch bender again. And uh, let's go to the turntable losing power preset. Okay, you hear that? So this is going to be more like a record scratch, even more like a like kind of like a DJ on the decks going like that. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. So we got. And then uh, once we've done that, how do we do the backflip on the record? Well, we paste and then we go to effects and we reverse it like this. So you get something like. And then what you want to do, because no DJ is perfect in their scratching and mixing. Hey, uh, Rafko Nata is in the house on uh, YouTube. Lovely to have you there. Thank you very much for tuning in. In Taiwan, it's four o'clock in the morning. Wow, amazing stuff. Just past four in the morning, of course. Uh, now I'm going to pop in the backflip a few times. And like I say, no DJ is, is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those three other cuts and I'm going to go to the pitch bender again. And then I'm going to put it to default so everything is normal. And I'm just going to slowly, oh, no, didn't want to do that. Uh, zero semitones, need to put some edit points on. So we're going to go up a little bit and then up a little bit more. And then finally up a little bit more. Too much. Let's take it down. Because we don't want to go nuts with this. We just want to sound like it's kind of a natural record scratch rather than something you've produced. So you can hear ever so slight change in the pitch there. And that's so it's going to sound more of a natural, like hand done record scratch rather than a perfectly created door edit. <laughs> of a record scratch. Uh, so we got now. DJ. Okay, don't worry, it doesn't sound amazing yet, but it will do in a second. Uh, now, I teach you this a lot, always save your work, especially if you're doing something good. Uh, so let's go into, um, where are we now? We need to go into uh, the session number, which is going to be uh, 217. Three, five, six, and we just save all these untitled uh, waves. Uh, untitled seven, yeah, we'll save that. So those are just the the edits I've made in separate files here. Okay, now we can have some fun with it uh, by splicing it together in the multi-track. Let's get right in. Let's zoom right in on this so we can really see what's going on with this uh, bit of audio here. So we need to crossfade like this. Okay, and you can hear how that's the first record scratch. And we're gonna duplicate, and we're going to do that. And then we're just gonna chop those two as well and pop them over here. Pop this out over there. And then pop this over here and pop that out over there. And we've got this. Okay. That sounds like a DJ doing a record scratch, although there's too much of a gap between each uh, little scratch back and forth, so we need to tighten that up a little bit, and then we're going to have something that's, uh, that's workable. I might, of course, change the uh, gaps later on, but at the moment I'm just testing, because uh, if I get a really cool imaging effect and it has a, a certain tempo to it, I'll obviously change to, uh, to match the tempo of uh, the, the imaging effect. So let's listen to that. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, my scratch on Carrie's voice. So it goes. DJ Trigger Beats. Okay, and um, we'll do something with that later on when we get the imaging effects in. So, um, so far, uh, let me zoom out a little bit now. You have seen uh, this kind of effect. DJ Power. DJ Power. And let's focus in on that one. This one that goes. DJ Power. That's just a simple pitch bend, kind of up, down, up, down, and then losing power at the end. DJ Power. DJ Power. And the, the first one, this one. DJ Power. 
That's uh, two takes of Al saying DJ Power, uh, layered up on two tracks. One is hard pan to the right, and one is hard pan to the left, so you get a stereo effect. Plus, there's a little bit of echo going on over on the... Uh, left channel over on the left channel so it echoes away into the left channel which is uh, pretty sweet if you ask me uh, by the way if you're watching on the live stream keep the comments coming in if you're watching on the replay uh, make a comment on the video if you've got any questions happy to do my best to answer DJ trigger beats okay so let's get back to uh, this one that I've been producing DJ power okay we don't really need that now or actually what I could do I just had another idea um, this is where uh, I might use a little bit of uh, pitch shifting. So I'm going to create a new mono track. And I'm going to just lock in time this audio and pop it down to the mono track. And now DJ power. we've got this power. So power. 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 Okay, and that's got a bit of chorus on that one. But what I was going to do was something like this. Let's have a play. And that's nicely sort of stuttered and repeated there. Just switch on the pitch shifter for this track. I've got preset. Or actually what might be better is to go into this track and add a separate pitch shifter. Let's do it that way. There it is. And uh, we're going to put the pitch shifter over on that track. So just to mix things up a little bit, let's lock in time. Move that. Lock in time means you can't move it around on the multi-track, which is kind of good if you've already done some production and you don't want to lose all of those changes. So let's pop that back up there. Hello, Davil from India. Nice to have you watching on the live stream. Brendan is there on facebook.com slash music radio creative. I run a reggae sound system YouTube blog. Uh, how much to do DJ Trops? You can find it out at musicradiocreative.com forward slash DJ. And all the pricing is, is there on the website. So musicradiocreative.com slash DJ. That's where you need to go if you're interested in learning more. Thanks for asking, Brendan. Uh, Noakes is asking, should we change the voice to stereo if we recorded it in mono? Um, no, there's no need to do that. Um, but if you want to add a stereo effect, then it should be a stereo multi-track track. Okay, bear that in mind. The reason I've made a mono one for um, this particular effect is because it's not going to be a stereo effect. Um, so, and I might actually just move this up too. So we've got this going down like that. I'm pitch shifting down on the multi-track now. J power. J power. So. J power. J power. J power. J. Let's bring that up a little bit. J power. J power. J power. So we got this. DJ Power. DJ Power. Okay, perfect. So now let's start introducing some uh, sound effects into the mix over here. Let's see how this is going to work now with our audio. Power. Power. Right, the sound effects are a bit loud, so I'm going to bring them down in the mix. DJ Power. Or J Power. Or J Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. Okay. Let's go back here a little bit and see what we can find. Um, right, what we might need is an effect with a tail. <laughs> Could work out quite well. DJ Power. DJ Power. That's too busy now, so I'm going to chop that. But never waste a good effect. I might use that later. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. DJ Power. Thanks for the uh, the conversation in, I believe that looks like Russian in the uh, in the chat at the moment. Sorry, I do not know what you're writing, uh, but there are a few exclamation marks there, so um, I appreciate that. 
whatever you're saying. Call. Saga continue. Call. Now we're going to just EQ this a little Call. bit. Call. Saga continued. This mix show every Thursday at 10 p.m. So this is kind of a trailer for DJ Power's mix show. A continue. This mix. A continue. This. A continue. This mix show. A continue. This mix. A continue. This mix show. Joe. Every. Joe. Every Thursday at ten. Thursday at ten p.m. Thursday at ten p.m. Saga continue. This mix show. Every Thursday at ten p.m. Okay, so I'm kind of tightening up the voice there so it sounds nicely imaged. Saga continue. This mix show. Every third. I'm going to do some fade envelopes so that the cuts are nice and clean here. And uh, I'm going to add on a uh, vocal effect to the vocal effect bus here. Um, Saga continue. This mix show. Every Thursday. No, maybe reaper. Saga continue. This mix show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. DJ Power. DJ Power. Saga continue. This mix show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. Saga continue. Do I have a favorite voice talent? Uh, Bad Mix Rick is asking. There's there's so many decent voice talents out there. That's really tough. I would say, what is my favorite voice talent for the project I'm working on? Would be the uh, the better question. Um, because yeah, let's um, let's get into that for a second. The uh, the best uh, voice talent. So if I'm working on uh, DJ Drops. I particularly like working uh, with Al. I think he's got a good voice uh, for those kind of snappy, kind of powerful drops and that powerful bass in his voice. Absolutely wonderful. Um, a female voice I enjoy using. I enjoy using all of them, by the way. Like anything from musicradiocreative.com, I'm very happy working with uh, because we have vet the voiceovers, so we, we don't take them on unless we really like them. Um, but I've always enjoyed producing uh, DJ Drops with Chelsea on. Uh, if it's a, a commercial read or uh, something for a, a business podcast, uh, our voiceover Greg is really good at that. So they, they, each voice has uh, different strengths and talents, so I like different voices for different reasons. It's a very diplomatic answer, isn't it? Very very, very, very. Uh, could you do a lesson on edit and enhancing guitar finger style recording? Hey, good question. Yeah, maybe, maybe. DJ Power. DJ Power. Saga continue. This. Okay, we need a kind of uh, whooshy, whooshy fade out there. Um, and I think we're going to find that somewhere around here. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Uh, so it kind of tails out there as Al is uh, trailing off. On the end of this uh, this uh, DJ drop. J Power. Too noisy though. We definitely need to turn this audio down a bit. DJ Power. J Power. Saga. DJ Power. J Power. Saga continue. This. Still a bit noisy, so just going to turn that down. There. Saga continue. This mix show every. Th and I don't think you can hear that audio so well, so I'm going to turn the EQ voice up. J Power. Saga continue. This mix show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. Okay, cool. That's a DJ drop right there. DJ Power. J Power. Saga continue. This mix show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. Sounding pretty cool. And um, we've got something else over here. Let's have a listen to it. Dope mix show right here. Dope mix show right here. Dopest mix show. 10 p.m. I've got a feeling that's part of the drop. 10 p.m. Dope mix show right here. Let's keep that there for the moment. Let's move on to uh, Carrie's voice here. <laughs> So now we need something to go and mix nicely with that. Let's see what we got in here. Um, let's go with something. We really need something that's going to fix a record scratch kind of effect. Let's see what we've got here. So much choice. So much choice. Let's have a listen to how that might work. It's too short. No, my feeling is it's too short, so we'll need to 
go through and look for something else, but I do have faith that we are going to find something. <laughs> Uh, five Kiri Boy is asking, what's the program? It is Adobe Audition CC, one of the best audio editors available today. Uh, Trioptic 3D is saying, what's up? Uh, this is a good one. I need to make some DJ drops. Uh, so there you go. And uh, Five Kiri Boy is not seeing things properly because uh, the stream is 144p. My goodness. That's tiny, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Michael's actually commenting, the saga continues, sound abrupt, sounds abrupt. Let's review that. That's, that's why I love uh, working live, because you guys give some fantastic feedback. Saga continues. This mix show. Every Thursday at... That's uh, right. Saga continues. This mix show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. Saga continues. This mix... Maybe pull that out a little bit. Let's try that. You. This mix show. I continue this mix show every Thursday at 10 p. Continue this mix show every Thursday at 10 p.m. I'm not going to focus too much more on that at the moment. Adobe Audition really is a fantastic bit of kit, really is. Um, right, let's go back and see what else we have got here. <laughs> No, still haven't got what we need. i uh, got Hayden asking, where can I get the sound effects from? Just go over to musicradiocreative.com, head to the radio section, and then look for instant downloads. Uh, there you'll find the opportunity to download sound effects and music. Uh, so, yeah, that's where you need to go, musicradiocreative.com. Hi to Ivan, uh, asking again, where can I get these samples from? Musicradiocreative.com is the place to go. Uh, Spike uh, says, Mike, have you used Ozone 7? with the current 10.1.11 build of Adobe Audition. Mine just crashes Audition. Hey, do you know? No, I haven't used Ozone 7. I have got a few Isotope plugins. I was hoping to use one, actually, uh, in this live stream. Uh, so we'll see if it works because, uh, yeah, I haven't haven't used those Isotope plugins for a while, uh, but I don't know specifically about the Ozone 7. Not too sure about that. Uh, some question I have, Benjamin says, um, how many effects have you got? Uh, and how did you get them? Amazing. Uh, so I've got tons. We've got tons and tons of effects here at Music Radio Creative. And uh, we do sell them on the website at musicradiocreative.com. <laughs> no. Not finding an effect I like with that. <laughs> Let's try this one. Might need to make it a bit faster. Too much. Maybe only three scratches. Yeah, I think that's going to be enough there. Three, three record scratches. Yeah, that's cool. So that's kind of working. You can have a full run through of the track, definitely, Hayden. Uh, just working on this. And then we need to pop you over here. So that's my uh, record scratch intro. Here's one I made earlier for you, Hayden. DJ Power. DJ Power. Saga continues. This mix show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. 
Uh, Bad Mix, Rick's got a good question. Do I find radio imaging styles different between the UK and the US? Oh, yeah, definitely. A huge difference. Um, yeah, different styles, different sounds. I do love US radio imaging. It's absolutely mind-blowing, some of the stuff that comes out of the United States for certain. Portrait of the... Beats. Portrait of... Twitter Beats. Portrait of the... Right, what I'm going to do here, because I can see in this little... Um, imaging effect I have here, it kind of does has a nice riser like that and then it goes into a little bit of a bed. I don't want that bed so there's a little crash out there. What I'm going to do is just cut there and there, do that and you should notice the bed disappears. Perfect. Absolute perfect edit so uh, no worries there and then I might just throw this one into the mix, that little tail from the sound effect I had earlier on as I was making the DJ drops. That will add a little bit extra. Reeds. You are now in the mix. And of course you are now in the mix has to have echo. It's it's compulsory to put echo on any voiceover that says in the mix. You are now in the mix. You are now You are now we need a little time for the effect to establish itself, so I'm just moving this voice out a bit. You are now too much. You are now in the mix. You are now in the mix. That works. And Portrait of the streets. Okay, this is the point where I will head along and pop in and do what I can. Uh, by the way, hi over on Facebook. Uh, what cheap free auto-tune plugins would you recommend? Matthew Green is asking. Excellent question, Matthew. Auto-tune, auto-tune, auto-tune. Uh, you can get uh, a trial of Melodyne. That's not cheap, but it's the best, in my opinion. So Melodyne, go and take a look into that. I've got some videos on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash musicradiocreative about Melodyne. You can see if that's for you. Uh, also, if you go to my YouTube channel and you type in Audacity Auto-Tune, pretty sure I have made a video about a free Auto-Tune plugin that works with Audacity. So you might want to check that one out as well. That's youtube.com slash musicradiocreative. Mark is saying, good morning, Mike. Great show as ever. Keep up the good work. Appreciate that. Thank you, Mark, uh, for tuning in. Uh, Five Kiri Boy says, I'm ignoring subscribers. Absolutely not. <laughs> Mike is a monster because he's ignoring subscribers. Uh, no, but I can see you're very busy in the chat right now so i appreciate that lots lots of russian discussion happening in the chat which is uh, definitely interesting portrait of the streets okay portrait of the streets this is where we're going to have fun i'm going to drag it onto this track and solo it portrait of the streets and uh i've got a bit of flanger on that track so what i'm going to do in this instance is pull that flanger off and i'm going to show you another plug in here if we go to uh, i use au plugins i've got a few vst3s um not many VST plugins. AU, I use because AU is the native kind of Apple-y uh, audio plugin uh, compatibility thing, and I just feel that's the best thing. So I got stuff from Apple. Uh, I got uh, Melodyne in there as well. Isotope and Voxengo uh, make some... Voxengo actually makes some really good free plugins. If you're looking for free plugins, look up Voxengo. Isotope over here. Um, yeah, I've got the Neutron, which is kind of like Ozone 7. That's good for EQing and compressing. It's uh, one of their latest um, effects. Very good. It's got a compressor, equalizer, exciter, and transient shaper. Can be a bit much for some imaging, uh, but it's cool. Uh, vocal synth is what I wanted to play with here, just to give you an extra sound. And then uh, I'm going to wrap up very shortly, guys. So if you've got any questions, now is the time to get them in. Um, I've done one DJ drop. I'm just wrapping up on the second. I've got two more to do, but uh, I'm going to do those off the stream because uh, I do like to put some time and attention into what I'm doing. Uh, and then I can leave you to enjoy the rest of your day and uh, ask more questions. Portrait of the streets. You can already hear a little uh, kind of change in the voice there because it's going through vocal synth and you can see just above my head there uh, is the, the waveform that's being manipulated. Portrait of the streets. Port as, I, as I play uh, that wonderful voiceover from Carrie. Uh, so what are we going to do with this? Well, uh, let's pull that down. Now you can hear nothing. I can put the dry output out. Portrait of the streets. Okay, that's Portrait of the Streets. I've got a vocoder here. Portrait of the Streets. And we can go for uh, a crushed fox, pull the dry off. Portrait of the Streets. So I can choose different uh, vocoding presets. Portrait of the Streets. 
and I can also change the dials. Quarter of the streets. This, by the way, is an excellent plug-in worth every penny. Vocal synth from Isotope. Quarter of the streets. So you can hear the different sounds there. Quarter of the streets. Or we could go for the rustle. Quarter of the streets. And we can shift it. Quarter of the streets. Up and down. Quarter of the streets. Quarter of the streets. Quarter of the streets. And you can you can change to a more smooth sound. Quarter of the streets. Or we can... of the streets. So, so much you can do there. That's vocoding. Uh, we've got CompuVox, which is, I love CompuVox. It makes the voiceover sound like a computer. Portrait of the streets. Portrait of the streets. So that's very, very cool indeed. Uh, Bad Mix Rick asking what samples I use for the drops. Uh, all the samples I use are over at musicradiocreative.com. Just go to the radio section. I believe we also sell them inside the DJ section as well. Instant downloads. Uh, you can check out and get your audio instantly. Portrait of the streets. Portrait of the streets. So by changing the dials, you change the sound of the CompuVox. Portrait of the streets. It's a bit scratchy. Portrait of the streets. Portrait of the street. Portrait of the street. And if we like, we can reintroduce a little bit of the uh, vocal dry. Portrait of the street. Portrait of the streets. We can pull it down so it's a background noise and have the, the voice up front. Portrait of the streets. Portrait of the... Portrait of the streets. Portrait... Now I might just go with that as it is and hear how that sounds in the mix. Portrait of the streets. It's kind of lost a little bit there in the effect, so I might need to do some EQing on that to pull it out. And also, I think I'm going to need to turn this effect down because it's rather noisy. You know, I'm kind of a little bit not happy about how that sounds at the moment, so I might just try a little thing to speed this up. Time stretching. Yeah, that's a bit better. Portrait of the streets. Portrait of the streets. Portrait of the streets. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Um, and then I'm going to, uh, well, actually, because Isotope Vocal Synth is last in the chain, let's pull it to first in the chain. Portrait of the streets. Much better. Now you see it's important where you put your effects in the effects rack because the chain does affect the sound. Listen to how it sounds when I put the effect at the end. Portrait of the streets. And then listen to the difference when I pull it up to position number one. Portrait of the streets. All the good stuff happens to it, the DSing, the filters, the processing, the volume leveler, so it's really, really cool. Hi, DJ Infinity Germany. Nice to have you there. Hello, Kelly. Hey, Kelly, thanks for joining in on Facebook Live. Uh, Doy is there as well. Do you have any free sound effects for us? Um, I do. Actually, we're just uh, revamping uh, part of the Music Radio Creative website, and we're going to have a load of new freebies and downloads coming very soon. So there's... Uh, not on the main site. The um, It's basically the blog and podcast we're relaunching. So there's going to be a lot of stuff for you there. Uh, if you just keep your eye over there at musicradiocreative.com. Subscribe to our channels, our social media, and you'll hear about it. Portrait of the street. Okay, that's cool. So we got this now. DJ Portrait of the street. You are now. And as you can hear, there's a little bit of a gap here. That's the gap, so I'm um, to tighten that up, all I do is pop my little edit there and then drag this all in. A seamless crossfade will happen, and this will be a bit tighter now. Let's let's try it like that. You are now go back here. Of the street. You are now perfect. And listen to the crossfade, you won't even notice that crossfade. It's portrait of the street. You are now in the mix. And then if I go solo here, just check that crossfade for me. You wouldn't even notice a crossfade or an edit. Uh, so another uh, completed DJ drop. DJ Twitter beats. Portrait of the street. You are now in the mix. And here's one I made earlier. DJ Power. DJ Power. Saga continues. This mix show every Thursday at 10 p.m. Yeah, I think there was a bit of confusion because it sounds like Saga continues, but it's actually Saga continue. 
for some reason. So I didn't cut off the S after all in that DJ drop. Uh, still two or three more DJ drops to do. But as I say, I'm going to uh, get down to business in the studio here on the Isle of Wight in the UK and uh, do some more producing uh, myself. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed. I, I hope you've massively enjoyed uh, what we've been doing today. I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. And if you head over to the website, you can get all kinds of stuff like the sound effects that I've used in this video. They're all available for you. Uh, you can also go and check out our blog, our podcast as well. Uh, subscribe at youtube.com slash music radio creative. Uh, I've got a question, Mike, what monitors are you using? They are the Yamaha HS50s and they are absolutely brilliant. Really like them. Uh, so many more live streams coming uh, to this channel very soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below and let me know how you get on making your own DJ drops.